What's up YouTube? My name is Joystick Overwatch. I have a brand new video for you today, but first I want to give you a little update on what's going on with me and my stream. Uh, we just applied for the first time to become a Twitch partnership, so the support on Twitch has been actually crazy ever since I've been doing a lot more YouTube and stuff. Um, there's just been so much support on my Twitch stream. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the follow button on my Twitch channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna continue to be making more content. I took a couple weeks off to get my Twitch stuff back in motion and with the whole Twitch partnership, um, I'm so excited to see what content we can create moving forward. So enjoy the next video. We're gonna hop straight into this new video. This is a top five advanced Reinhardt tips video. I've already dropped a more general top five Reinhardt tips video earlier, a um, few months back. So if you guys wanna get into the nitty gritty, the advanced tips, here we go. Starting off, number one, I wanna talk about positioning and what it means to be an aggressive Reinhardt. So what I like to do is like play to hold space and take it over it's 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 about dividing and conquering is reinhardt you're always going to be holding the space you're always going to be playing different corners and playing as close as you can to the enemy team while not wasting your shield so what i mean by holding space and playing corners is you just want to like use the geometry of the map and post up against them and either the left or the right side and without using your shield you're able to like swing around the corner play around that corner without like just wasting shield it's just a smart way to play and the most aggressive play style in my opinion and that always ensures that you the enemies can't push past you because you're always holding that space down um taking high ground is another thing any way possible you can take high ground to initiate engagements high ground has just always been like such a major key in any game um but with reinhardt like most of the time you're gonna be like straight up um on the on the ground floor level taking the engagement and make sure you're always communicating your plays i know a lot of people like don't play in voice and stuff like that but for the people that do in high level gameplay i play in top 500 grandmaster level and a lot most people are in voice in that in that range but it's always smart to be communicating what you're trying to do as reinhardt because like a lot of plays are decided on how you engage and if like you speed boost in like you're gonna want your lucio to communicate that with you right or if like you want your anna give you nano boost like you want that communication so that you can like execute the play correctly and fluently so got number two which is uh smart shield management um so it's gonna be kind of similar to my last video but uh, i just want to make sure you guys get what is important about actually using shield as ryan um mostly you're not gonna just like be just holding shield like as reinhardt you'd think that like you'd be holding shield most of the time actually the best reinhardts usually do a lot of damage and sometimes i end up with silver gold damage at the end of my games because of like how aggressive i am playing and swinging on the enemy team right so you're gonna want to be blocking off most of the major spam damage coming in you're probably gonna be playing against like reinhardt or reinhardt sigma comps just because of the meta right now um, so that's a lot of spam damage going directly at you and that's that's why Reinhardt really isn't meta right now He just takes so much damage and a lot of people don't know what to do with that They just end up just feeding and dying So you're gonna want to be able to use your shield to actually take space Instead of just like holding it to defend your team So like I like to shield dance well like I like to move forward pull up shield drop it move forward and then like post up against the corner Like I said earlier, you're gonna want to use your shield to get to like get you those positional advantages um, It's not about like just straight up shielding your team anymore um, Especially in the meta that we're in right now. I mean obviously in Ryan Zarya compositions. It's a little bit different Play style is different, but based on what you're playing against you have to adjust as Reinhardt That's what makes this more of an advanced video is because you have to adjust your play style based on what your uh, Enemies are presenting to you. So Not letting your shield break completely is also a really good idea Obviously, this is not super advanced But like a lot of people know this but like if you let your shield completely break it takes a little bit longer for it to fully recharge I like to basically rest shield anywhere from two to three hundred um, HP on the shield itself um, and that's that just ensures that like you will have an emergency shield if you need it right because sometimes like you absolutely have to shield 
say if you have to block a quick shot or something like that something important like that you just need like a little security blanket and if you don't have that then you're gonna find yourself in a bad position right number three i want to talk about earth shatter which is reinhardt's ultimate ability it's a straight up bad ultimate they nerfed reinhardt's shatter recently and it's just really bad um that's why you kind of have to change how you use earth shatter and i had to realize this after just playing a lot and experiencing what it's like to play reinhardt in this meta basically you have to time earth shatter between usually two shields which is orissa's shield and sigma's shield best way to do that is know that orissa is about to drop two shields she drops her first one next one's coming off cooldown which she'll probably drop re relatively soon after that so you have to worry about those first two shields and then sigma's timing after dropping his shield then you hit the earth shatter that's that small window that you have to hit a big earth shatter against the little shield it's hard to do trust me but when you do it it's it's pretty rewarding and you should be able to clean up kills after that but more importantly with earth shatter in this in this meta is flanking with earth shatter make sure you get good at finding different angles to to, go, to secure flanks you can get sneaky as reinhardt right because usually your other tank is going to be frontlining as well so you can get creative like i like to just play sometimes i like to flank around different corners or like i like to take high ground wrap around the back and hit a flanking earth shatter stuff like that is actually pretty important and you can win games based off like positional you know just abusing positional errors and stuff like that from the enemy team and using earth shatter to its full potential which it doesn't really have much potential because it just got nerfed right it's really bad but but on top of that one last thing with earth shatter i highly recommend like going for solo shatters whenever possible just to secure one kill that's basically all it can do right now secure like one maybe two kills so like if you can solidify like one kill like say like um, the enemy has like a Moira and she is uh, using her ultimate coalescence She is like kind of like moving into your back line a little bit and you see her Exposed with no shield hit that earth shatter on that Moira secure that kill and you're gonna just win the team fight from there, right? It's not about hitting like a six-man earth shatter anymore. It's it's I mean when it happens it does happen but you know like the best plays are usually a, the one of the smaller things in the game that you wouldn't expect right number four i want to move on to what it means to win a ryan 1v1 really what it's about is like the earth shatter um mind games like the ultimate mind games between a 1v1 ryan because you know you just have to know if they have their ult really is the best way to win a, a ryan 1v1 if you're not super confident in reinhardt you want to get better and become more advanced it's really comes down to can you block their earth shatter and usually the most patient reinhardt is the better one at the end of the day no matter how good you are like i've played against some of the best main tanks in the world i played reinhardt against super mano you know literally all these overwatch league main tanks and it's really just comes down to being patient against players that are so good in that high caliber because they're also very patient themselves right they don't they don't give up too many openings but when they do you can exploit them and find them so also with, with the 1v1s is you kind of want to like always alter your play style a little bit because like if you play too aggressive if you play too passive it just enables the enemy reinhardt to do more so like you kind of have to find that balance and this just comes with experience you just gotta find the balance when to get aggressive when to play passive do they have earth shatter can i block it i gotta save a little bit of shield here or do i have to play corners because i don't have any shield you know you gotta like think about all those little things that come into the play of the mind games and then also on top of it if it's more like a ryan zarya battle waiting for like the enemies to use bubbles first and then you go in with your zarya bubbles like it's literally just those little like timings that can change the difference between you winning the game versus another reinhardt or you losing right it just depends on like how effective you are with your abilities and be able to cycle them through um but more often than not you're gonna be playing against um probably an orissa and a sigma right now just because of the meta so reinhardt 1v1s aren't too prevalent right now but it, i do see them in some of my ranked games and then you know it's a good time let's go on to number five which is basically a little bit of a summary of what i said in my last reinhardt video but i just want to like solidify it to more relevancy based on the meta right now basically 
Reinhardt Sigma, I would say, is actually better than Reinhardt Zarya. More so because Reinhardt can kind of enable himself um, and do his own thing a little more because he doesn't have to be constantly shielding against all the spam coming through. That's why that's where the Sigma comes into play. Sigma can kind of hold off the, all that most of the damage and hold off against most of the snipers and stuff like that. Well, Reinhardt can hold hold down the front line and the main fight, you know, at the front. So that's why I like Reinhardt Sigma. Reinhardt Zarya is still good, obviously on maps like King's Row. Um, I can wall third point Hollywood's pretty decent on last uh, It just depends on like the map geometry with Reinhard Reinhardt and uh, Zarya just because like snipers are still so strong in this game and being able to contest those is Kind of would have to force your DPS to have to do all that low uh, heavy lifting But you know it just comes down to the map geometry Reinhard Riss is also pretty pretty strong because you can you combo halts with fire strike to build earth shatter very quickly um, and then it's kind of like a Reinhardt Sigma situation where like Reinhardt can kind of do his own thing because there's so much shielding from the other tank. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about Reinhardt Winston, which is actually kind of a sleeper pick compositionally. Um, I've seen this work. If you have two main tank players that are really strong in the main tank role and they're really flexible, I'll, um, I would consider Ryan Winston because... Winston's actually getting a little bit better into this meta based off the recent Brigida nerfs. Um, he doesn't really have to fight against too much armor, so like Reinhardt can play frontline, Winston, Winston can take flanks, take high ground. It's actually kind of a sleeper composition. Try it in your games, tell me what you think. But that's um, the end of this video, chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the support on YouTube's been crazy. Uh, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but we just uh, applied for Twitch partnership. If you guys want to see more content, move over to my Twitch streams. Joystick OW, I have links in the description. Make sure you check out the Twitch streams. We are blowing up. Shit is getting popping. So I want to see you guys there. Take it easy.